Welcome to my 3D Vision coverage of the GTX 580. So I'll be running the GTX 580 against the GTX 480 as well as two GTX 460s in SLI. So I'll be running both single and dual configurations in SLI with the 580 and uh, finding out how the stereoscopic 3D element of rendering the game impacts the performance. So the settings I'm going to be using are here, and I'll be wearing these slick glasses. Uh, this is <laughs> the settings I'll be using for graphics are here, and uh, that is what they are. So this is learning. So to me, it's stay tuned for more. All right. So I want to talk about the methodology a little bit with the uh, testing on all of these different cards with Call of Duty Black Ops in 3D Vision Surround. So the first thing you're going to notice right away is that B-Sync seems to be enabled. Now, I believe it's to do with 3D Vision, although I could be mistaken, but despite disabling V-Sync, and uh, both on the driver level and in the game, it looks like we're still capped at 60 frames per second. Now, my, my suspicion is that that's to give you a better overall, more smooth 3D vision experience because if your frame rate's kind of going all over the place, then it might, uh, it might screw up the alternate frame vision that you have with each of your eyes. So, okay, Mason over, oh, there we go. Okay, so basically what we're not going to be able to look at is minimum or is maximum frame rate because the maximum frame rate is going to be 60 for all of the cards. So we'll have to completely ignore that, but I believe that the average frame rates should still be somewhat relevant because you'll see, well, you're not seeing much of it here, but in the action sequence that I actually benchmark, I use the same benchmark that I did for my non-3D test. In the action scenes that I actually uh, was using for benchmarking, it actually goes quite a bit below 60 very frequently. That's disgusting. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say about the methodology. So in conclusion, um, really any one of these configurations is perfectly acceptable for playing Call of Duty Black Ops in 3D on a single 1920 by 1080 monitor. Now one thing that we did notice is that running any of the single card configurations showed a much lower dip in minimum frames per second versus SLI. Now because we were capped at 60 frames per second, we weren't actually able to see the cards uh, separate themselves out away from each other in terms of average FPS as much as you'd normally see if you can find a way to turn the V-Sync off. So yeah, since there's nothing we could do about it, it makes all the cards look kind of close together, but what you really want to look at is that minimum frames per second, because that's where you're going to separate the men from the boys, so to speak. So thank you for checking out our little coverage of the 3D vision experience in Call of Duty Black Ops, and so uh, maybe I'll just get back to the game now. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.